Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Breakfast with Biggin. We had a decent one for y'all this morning. We got a person who's uh, in too big, too big of a hurry through a construction zone. Now, that's a topic that's near and dear to my heart, considering that's where I work and that's where my guys work. Let's uh, let's give this one a watch. With the confusion going on, the car could have lunged a little bit. You've got to be kidding me. He committed a felony, man. Just wanted to say happy anniversary, honey. Yeah. This is absurd. Police were dispatched to a roadway construction site in reference to a Porsche driver, Donald Stiemel, who grew impatient while waiting to drive into his neighborhood and allegedly drove into oncoming traffic, struck a traffic control worker, and drove off. Who called? Yeah. What, what happened? He's yeah. in the oncoming, He's in coming at you. You're I'm in front like of this, him. Stop. Like, okay. He comes to a stop. Okay. And then I'm like, all right, back. So I stop like this to stand in front of him. And then okay. he continues to accelerate into my legs to get me to move out the way. And he's like looking at me like yelling and shit. And that's when I got mad. I was and like, you're, you're yelling at him to stop. Yeah, I'm like, you need to clear. stop. Yeah, but this dude pushed my legs in with his car. Like, you don't I, need any medical. No, 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 no. I've, I've, trust me. I've okay. been, I've but the car it. definitely did hit you. But that could have easily broke his legs. Easily. The, this young man is very fortunate. He hit me like he With stepped the on the gas to okay. get the fuck out of his way. And I was like, oh, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. And I was like, no, bro, you, you, that's not So you accident. let him know that you hit, he hit you. Yeah, I let him car. know. I let him know that he oh, hit I didn't my mean legs. To. Yeah, and then, he, and then he drove off. I mean, I have like the whole crew of people that seen it down there because they was all on the equipment. Okay. So they watched all of this go down. You Donald? They blur the big no. Is there Donald that resides here that drives that? Yes. Come where, here. Where is he? Yeah, hold on. Hello, Donald. Hello. How are you? Good. Uh, I just got some questions for you today. Um, sure. uh, before I ask the questions, I got to read you something from this card. Okay. Uh, I'm Deputy Lane with the Flagler County Sheriff's Office. Uh, I'm here investigating an aggravated battery. Um, I have to, to read you the back of the card now. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand these rights? Sure. Okay, with these rights in mind, are you still willing to talk to me? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't even know what this is about. <laughs> uh, I said it's in, it's in reference to an investigation for an aggravated uh, battery. Me? Yes. Yeah. Uh, again, I don't even know. I have no idea what you're talking about. I mean, it's a yes or no. Are you still willing to talk to me? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I don't know what we're talking about. Okay, sure. All right, so earlier today, were you driving that Porsche? I was. Were you on Camino del Rey with all that construction going on? Yes, I was. Okay. Um, do you mind just hap telling me what happened with the, the, the person directing traffic, if you if you know what I'm talking about? Uh, I do. I do. I think I do. Okay. And they wouldn't allow us to turn left there. Mm -hmm. There was a, a fellow, there was a lot of commotion. People, drove, traffic was going through real fast and a lot of different things going on. Mm -hmm. So I pulled out. And if what you're talking about, there was a fella, when I started going down, hoping that I'd get down there and make that left turn, he came running up to me like this, mm -hmm. and he ran up to the hood of my car. Yeah. And he ran right up to the hood of my car. Yeah. And he hit my car. I was slapping at the time. So I walked around to the window, and he says, what are you fucking trying to run over me? Mm -hmm. And I said, no, I'm sorry if you thought that. I was stopping. You ran up to my car. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't hit that person. That's what you're going for. He ran right up to the car and hit the front of the car. So that it wasn't your intention to hit him? Of course not. Okay. Because, I mean, he's claiming that he had you stopped, and then you revved your engine and went into him, and I have two witnesses also corroborating that story. Other, other workers there? Yeah. Okay. Why would I run over somebody? I mean, that's just somebody maybe is looking. I'm driving a nice car, maybe taking advantage of the situation. But there, it, I can see if he just claimed that we had no other witnesses, but I mean, the other witnesses' stories were almost exactly the same, and I spoke to them, you know, separately, making yeah. sure I'm doing my due diligence with the investigation here. And they they both described the same exact yes. incident that 
you came out into oncoming traffic, not well, listening to that. It wasn't oncoming traffic. I know, I know. It's not, not oncoming. oncoming no, I know it's not oncoming traffic. Okay. It was it was down to one lane, yes. but it was still a lane that you weren't supposed to be in at that time. And they, they said you were impatient. You came out, and then you stopped. And then he's waving you down, told you to stop, and then he's waiting for the other traffic. And then that's when yeah. you hit the, him with the car. There, with okay. the confusion going on, the car could have lunged a little bit, but nothing like I gave it the gas and tried no. to run him over or anything like that. Okay. They had a mess up there going on without, in fact, I was surprised the police weren't there with everything that was going on, too. If you wouldn't mind with me just standing at the end of the driveway, um, we're going to have the victim come and drive by and, and see if he can identify you. Okay. So if you wouldn't mind just standing over here in the grass, yeah, it would be appreciated. Is he claiming he was hurt or something like that? Or that? He's not claiming he was hurt, but he was claiming he was hit by a car. I mean, in the state of Florida, that counts as aggravated battery with a deadly weapon. The way yeah. he and so two false. other third-party so witnesses are stating it happened is... I hope that's sinking in, how serious this is. You, you were impatient, you came out, and you saw that he was there, and then you revved your engine and kept claiming you need to get around him, and then that's when you struck him with the when, vehicle, pushing he, him back. When he, when he was there, I, he was in front of the car. He yeah. stopped, so I couldn't go anywhere, and that's fine. Yeah. I tried to explain to him, I'm just trying to turn left into this intersection. I understand, but when somebody in a yellow jacket who's directing directing traffic around, you know, construction going on, you need to abide by the the, the traffic control devices that they have set up. There were other cars that were workers in that lane. Okay, just stand right there for me, okay? They'll stay here? Yes, just, okay. just until the, uh, the patrol car passes by. based on the witness statements, based on the victim identifying you as driving the Porsche that he photographed, you know, hitting him, I have probable cause to make an arrest for a aggravated battery. It's the craziest thing I've ever um, like, like he was hit with a car. Okay. Yeah, I believe it's crazy. You're too, you don't, I, I question whether you need to be driving. I don't know if it's just a bad attitude. Um, I'm thinking that's all it is. I think the rest of this is just him trying to act like, you know, it wasn't a big deal. But it's real serious. You've been compliant with me. I don't have to put the handcuffs on behind you. I'll just put them on in the front so it's more comfortable while we while we drive down. Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, he's arresting me for some loony that is claiming I hit him with the car. And he ran up, put his hood on the car, put his hands on the car. And there were other, other buddies were standing there and probably... And then he was swearing, cussing, and so you want to run? You gonna run me over or something like that? Yeah. Oh, this is absurd. Of course. Mm -hmm. Agreed. You know what this is all about. So where are I can, going? I'll, I, ex I can explain everything to you. We'll just do it at my car once he's, you know, secured in my back seat, and I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> If the worker was trying to claim injuries and everything, you would maybe wonder a little bit, you know. But with the worker saying he's uninjured, no, this is what happened. According to you know the victim and two other witnesses, I mean they're not, they're not close co-workers; they're they're basically third party. Um, he cut out into the oncoming lane, he's standing in front of the vehicle, and then that's when he revs his engine and drives into him. Yeah, you know, uh, that's hard for me to believe because he is a gentle man. He, 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 I I, I understand. Mean, we're we're going off of two, like I said, two witnesses and the, the victim's statements. They're all exactly the same. I had to drive back and forth to different locations where these these workers were, and I I asked them these questions, you know, separately, and they all gave the same exact story. Well, maybe they all talked to one another, it's, you know, and see, said, "Oh, hey, oh that's here, why, here we go. That's here why, we got a guy in a Porsche. Let's just." That's why over. it was handled the way it was. They had no idea the police were called. It was actually the victim. He, he, he called on his own. It wasn't like a job site. They were like, well, what are you guys here for? They had no idea. So I, I just find that really, I mean, he would not, he, he would, he's just, he's I the understand. kindest man you've ever met in your life. I understand.
Some people, when they get behind the wheel of a car, they're just completely different. So now what so happens? He's going to be transported down to the Flagler County inmate facility in Bunnell. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He committed a felony, man. That's that's why we're, we're doing it the way we're doing it. I don't, I don't have any discretion when it comes to making a felony of this. Yes, sir? I just wanted to say happy anniversary, honey. Yeah. You might want to talk to Greg or Okay. Okay. All right, so you're taking him to the, you're taking him to prison? The the, the jail, ma'am. The jail, yeah. okay. Right. Are you going to keep him overnight? I, I don't know. Maybe. It's possible. It's messed up. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. All right, try to have a better day. What happens from here? Obviously, I've never been arrested before, so. The, the jail deputies down there, they'll be able to explain it better to you. Oh, okay. I don't need any ID or anything because I don't. Okay, nope, uh, all of your information is going to be in my arrest report. Thank you, Jenna. Has he been acting for you? Completely compliant. Good. He's uh, cuffed in the front. Hey, bud. I've uh, got some questions for you. Do you have any thoughts of uh, wanting to harm or kill yourself, sir? No. No? Okay. Do um, you have any immediate medical issues that we need to address? I got a hernia. His hernia probably didn't improve much as he was quickly sued by the road worker for damages in excess of $50,000. Donald refused to settle and demanded a trial by jury. Donald's lawyer notified the victim that they would be sending a subpoena to other parties, including healthcare providers. Since this update in November of 2023, nothing has moved forward and the road worker is unlikely to recoup any damages he was hoping for although he sort of did admit there weren't any in the first place yeah i'm not physically hurt so i mean but yeah. that still counts it probably does not count if you're looking for money in a court of law he was charged with one count of felony aggravated battery with a deadly weapon and booked into jail within a few hours he was able to post bond in the amount of twenty five hundred dollars yeah. He was ordered to have no contact with his victim. Donald quickly lawyered up, entered a plea of not guilty, and demanded a trial by jury. The courts offered him a deferred prosecution agreement with conditions including a four-hour anger management course, eight-hour aggressive driving course, writing a sincere apology letter to the victim, and some minor fines and fees. He successfully completed the program in February of 2023, do you think Donald is too impatient or incompetent to keep his driver's license? Yeah, uh, I hope he's better than he was. You, you can't drive like that. You, I know sometimes what the road workers are doing don't, don't seem to make sense to you, but there's usually a reason. They want traffic flowing as well. They don't want to just hold people up. Um, but you got to do what they tell you to do. And good Lord, hitting somebody with a car. Uh, well, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. Hope to see y'all again real soon.